So this is a really, really neat piece of biomechanics. This is a model of a grasshopper's leg. So we have the lower leg here and the upper leg, the thigh, up here. Now, grasshoppers have a problem because muscles can either move quickly or they can apply a large force. And when they apply a large force, they can only do that by moving relatively slowly. Um, the problem is that to jump, you need to apply a large force very, very quickly. Um, and so normal muscles aren't very good at that, so you can't jump that high. Um, grasshoppers have evolved a really neat solution to this problem. They, as normal, have two muscles, one which bends the leg and one which straightens the leg. The one which straightens the leg is a lot bigger than the one which bends the leg. So normally when they're just walking around, um, if they want to bend the leg, they'll contract the lower muscle, and if they want to straighten the leg, they'll contract the upper muscle and relax the lower muscle. And that's how you move normally. However, when they want to jump, what they do is first they contract the muscle which bends the leg, and then, whilst without relaxing that muscle, they contract the big muscle which straightens the leg. This is a bit like when you flex your arm to make your biceps look bigger. So, and because of the geometry of the way the tendons work here, this big muscle can't overcome the small muscle as it contracts. Instead what happens is that there's some springs, they're not actually coil springs, in the knee, which store a load of energy, which bend and store a load of energy as the large muscle contracts. So now you've got lots of stored energy in the knee. And when the grasshopper wants to jump, what it does is it relaxes the um, muscle which is bending the leg. And it doesn't do anything to the other muscle. And this releases all the energy in the springy knee and causes it to kick very, very hard and very, very fast. Thus allowing the grasshopper to jump very, very effectively.